All right, last time I did this was for Themathon in 2017. This is for Trashathon in 2019. So let's go, this is a 100% run. Now, fastest way to do this is, uh, I would trip, is probably to cancel bullets. That was almost a perfect start. Oh, pretty damn close. I believe you can get them on perfect, but whatever. I don't like to take the death there, but whatever. Uh, so, it's a Metroidvania sort of game made with Mega Zooks. I've done that part way too often. That does take a lot of practice. <laughs> oh, a lot to some extent. A lot relative to me. Um, so yeah, first boss fight. There's four bosses and a final boss, and each of the first bosses gives you ability. Gives you abilities like this one gives you ability to stomp, make make go everywhere, and stuff like that. And the last boss gives you the ability to finish the game. Uh, you only need to be like you don't need one ability is called mist, and you don't actually need it to beat the game at all. Uh, please don't go in the corner. Good. If the boss gets stuck. If this boss shows up in the uh, top left corner, uh, you, you, ba you run's basically right because it's a pain in the ass to actually get it out of there. Uh, so, yeah, this, this, running this game is pretty much, if it's not a tradition for me yet, it will be now. Uh, this is basically my pet speed game. Um, it's the one that's, it's one of those games where it's like, one person runs it, and I uh, enjoy it. Can we, can we in the future make sure that more than one person is running this at some point? I'm gonna make damn sure that actually happens. Somehow. Uh, and I've tried, uh, let's see up the board and it's like, it didn't quite. I should pay a bit more attention. You don't always end up clearing all the bullets on the screen. Ah. I'm not actually sure what the fastest way to get that up that is. I've been experimenting lately, but... Yeah, there's a lot more that can def- like... This game's still pretty unoptimized. I mean, some of the routing is pretty much set in stone, almost. This guy's being a pain. This guy is trying to soft lock himself. This boss sucks. Okay. It could be way worse. But yeah. Oh. So this is 100%. We've got to get, collect all 49 of these things. They are called ciphers or trinkets, depending on whether you are looking at the in-game text or the source code. Uh, I screwed that up. Now we can smash ourselves. Okay, so the record I've got on um, the leaderboards at the moment is a 16.38 in game time. I think I actually have a faster time than that, that I've actually got recorded, but yeah, I just haven't bothered updating it. Maybe I should make a deal, if someone else runs this game I'll update my time. Wait, no, that's, you only did that one for 80%. Okay, so now that we've uh, beaten the ice boss, we now... Dodge. Now that we've been the ice boss, we can now shoot ice all over the place. And this turns out to be necessary for a few things. Uh, uh, this part you've got to be careful because if you fall too, if you drop down uh, too far to the right, you soft lock because it doesn't quite line up properly. Actually, this is probably the level where you can end up soft locking if you aren't careful. Like, you can fall through a hole there and soft lock. You don't even need ice to do that. Um, uh, here comes a dumb strat. I found that one out while doing a, while um, working on a bot. Playlist. 
and this turns out, yes, if you hold right, you can actually make it, if the game feels like giving you it. This boss is quite annoying as well. The nice thing about that though is, if you do get that, then you don't actually have to go back to the right, you can drop straight down and be done with it. Oh yeah, also if you uh, forget, if you grab a cipher and die, uh, you just need to go off screen and you've got it. And that was a death walk, I managed to grab it while dead. I should try that strat, I should do that strat more often actually. <laughs> uh, this is not a good strat though. Dying repeatedly on this level is not fun at all. There is another way to grab that cipher, but it's, there's not really much point doing that way when you can just take this fake wall that uh, Sergio nicely slipped in. Very much like the fake wall at the very start, but some of these cyphers you actually do need to have um, magma. You know, magma stomp before you can get them. So already we are actually up to the last boss. That uh, boss, I boss I did there gives me this ability called wing which allows me to double jump or in other words or in some cases like if you're on spikes and stuff like that uh, um, should pay attention if you're on spikes then uh, so that sort of extra jump there uh, come on Sweet, we're good. That boss can go quite horribly wrong. I may be on pace for a sub-15 RGT. Also, the fun thing about time thing in this game is that time flows faster than, uh, or in-game time is far, uh, goes faster than real time. So it's like, it's a little bit more, like, basically 10 minutes uh, IGT is roughly uh, 15 minutes in-game. I think it's sort of uh, the guy who made this, I think he actually guessed pretty much. Oh yeah, this is missed. It's good if you want to like get a few extra frame, if you want to save a few frames. In this stupid jump. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Now we've actually gotten every single, uh, beaten every boss, except for the last one. Oh, hey, screwed that one up. It's like, I've got a PB, but it's not, um, I've got a 1445 PB, but I, I've only got a screenshot of it, so it doesn't count. So I've got an unofficial PB, very unofficial PB, and I've got basically short length of time to actually clear this, if I want to get a sub-15 RGT. But considering that I managed to screw up like the first part, like... Okay, this boss goes well, I could actually sub-15. I'm pretty sure sub-14 is possible, but like, I would have to, no, nah, I, I haven't quite hit it. Uh, okay. There, right, so that's past, uh, 14, but this actually beats my PB that I just set earlier today. I can make this an official one, so 857 is... 14... 14, 17. IGT. Oh, world record. Yeah, so there you go. See, I can do a demonstration video and then suddenly end up with a world record. I should probably... T yeah, I'm gonna upload that and I'll submit it. I did say... I did say stuff, but I... I just couldn't be bothered actually updating it. So, might as well update it. Enjoy! Uh, this is a fun run to actually do, so... 
Uh, if you could convince people to like the race or something. Well, whatever, who cares. So, yeah. Uh, I should shut up and stop recording. There we go.